Have you tried creating shapes and portraying a workflow by Excel? If you haven't, you are missing out on this feature of Excel. And if you have, welcome aboard. Shapes and arrows may sound difficult within a workflow, but it is actually easy to do. Let's try it together. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulnim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VB related answers. We will learn how to create a workflow in Excel. In a blank sheet, we will share three ways to do it. We will use Excel 365 for this. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In our first method, we are going to add shapes to create a workflow. Now for better visual, let's go to view tab and uncheck grid lines, headings and formula bar. It will help us to understand easily. Now to insert shapes, let's go to insert tab and from the illustration group, choose shapes drop down. A lot of shapes are divided according to their category. From the flowchart category, select the second one. This plus icon will be available on your screen to draw over the cell. Click and drag the cursor to your preference. You can edit the shape size or orientation as well from the shape itself. You can further modify it from the shape format tab. Copy the shape using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Let's shape it first in this way and copy and paste it four times. Now this one to the latter and this one say here. Click on Ctrl A to select all the shapes together. Within the shape format tab and in arrange group, go to align drop down menu and select align center and for the previous four, let's select align and go to distribute vertically. There we are. Let's add a diamond shape as well. From the illustration group, shapes. From the flowchart category, choose diamond shape, which represents decision. Let's add it here. Let's move it a bit upwards and select all of them to align center and distribute vertically. Now it looks better, right? Let's modify the shapes further. Control A to select all of them. And from the shape format tab, select shape fill as this color. And as shape outline, let's choose no outline. And for text, let's choose automatic to get black fonts. Now for our first rectangle, let's type our first step, which is ask a question. Second one is perform research. Build a hypothesis. Then test with experiment. And decision making will have analyze data. And finally, conclusion. Let's select the shapes and from the home tab, let's change their alignment and make them center and middle aligned. Let's increase the font size from font group to 14 and let's make them bold. It looks better, right? Now to understand the steps, we need to add arrows. For that, go to shape format tab and insert arrow which is line arrow. Press and hold shift to get a vertical arrow. Let's place it here. Let's change its step to this one suppose. We can copy it using control and shift key and we can just drag them this way. Now we can see that the alignments are not correct so select them all and hold them in your preferable position. For a research or experiment, if the data matches with the expectation, it will get a conclusion. But if the data is inconclusive or it rejects the hypothesis, 
we need to jump back to previous steps. For that, let's add elbow arrows. Go to shape format tab and choose this one. Let's go along with this. Let's copy it using control shift here and analyze data and this will go to build a hypothesis. Now we need to add inconclusive. Let's format the arrows the same way. Now we need to add that in case inconclusive data, it will go to test with experiment and in case the data rejects the hypothesis, the workflow will jump to building a hypothesis. For that, let's add text boxes. From the shape format tab, click on text box and add them here and let's type inconclusive. The text doesn't look nice, right? Let's go to the alignment group from the home tab and from the orientation, choose rotate text up. Now it's easy to understand, right? Let's increase its font size and make it bold. Let's change its position. The text box. Let's change the format for the text box. Use shape fill as no fill and shape outline as no outline. Now let's copy it using control and shift key to beside this elbow arrow. And here let's type rejects a hypothesis. Let's change the width and let's move the text like that. So our workflow is ready. You can choose different color for the workflow according to your wish. In this method, we are going to use the smart art option to create a workflow. Go to insert tab from the illustration group, select smart art. From the smart art graphic window, go to process section and let's choose the first one basic process okay now we get a new tab for smart art design here select add shape three times and now we get six steps let's increase their size like in this way in case you want to change the color of the boxes you can go to the smart art styles group and click on change colors we can see that there are a lot of colors let's go along with this one and let's go to format tab to select let's select black as our font color now click on the boxes to edit text and write the steps for your process for ours our first step is purpose our second step is research next hypothesis experiment results and finally conclusion you might have noticed the font size automatically updates according to the word that is the longest here you can edit these colors any other ways as well so we can say that this method is far easier than the previous one. We can also use templates for creating a workflow in Excel. Go to File tab, select New Category and here search for Flowchart. From the results, select Process Map for Basic Flowchart. You can choose any other ones as well. Click on Create. This will add a new workbook for you with a ready-to-go workflow template. And you can see step-by-step -step process how to create your workflow here. Although this method seems a lot easier than the previous ones, it will require your access to Microsoft Visio. You can try Microsoft Visio free for two days to check out the feature. 
Let us know in the comment section how that experience goes for you. From these three methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can also practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned with subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.